Hello everyone, it's Shannon with Shannon's Crafty DIYs. OMG guys, I have a massive haul for you and it is a collective haul. As you guys have known, if you read my community page, I did a cross-border shopping haul and OMG guys, there are so many fall things out there and guys, I went on a Monday, so hallelujah, Hobby Lobby was open. <laughs> so I went for the first time ever in my entire life oh my gosh guys so funny story I went with my mom it was just my mom and I we usually just go after my birthday every year obviously during COVID we couldn't go um because the, the border was shut down for us but um uh, so we we always turn off our data and our cell phones and I'm like we always just kind of go by the time on our phone okay so it's three o'clock now you go do your thing in the mall I'll go do my thing in the mall and then we'll meet back at an hour as an example so we had done pretty much a lot of our stuff during the morning we went really early in the morning by three o'clock we went to the mall and I was like okay I'm gonna go to Hobby Lobby and uh, so my mom was like, okay, why don't we do three till 4.30? You can do your own thing. Does that give you enough time? I'm like, sure, mom, give me plenty of time. I can go do a couple other things. I was going to do like JCPenney's, Burlington, a couple other things. Guys, it was three o'clock. It took me 40 minutes in Hobby Lobby and I was not even close to being done yet. I could have stayed longer, but my time was getting, you know, we were there almost for like quite a bit of the day. So I'm like, I am also getting tired too. And I could have stayed there a lot longer, but I know my mom's getting tired too. So I just thought, you know what, let's just leave now while I'm ahead. I found a really, um, quite a few fun items. So yeah, I, I mean, I was so blown away at how beautiful this Hobby Lobby was. And the fact that fall stuff right now is also 40% off. Michael's is not even like that before the season starts. I'm thinking like 40% off already. Anyway, guys, that was just a very long intro, but I am super excited that I was able to go to Hobby Lobby. I also went to Walmart. I went to Target, or as I like to call it, Target. <laughs> I also went to the Dollar Tree. I went to, um, I think I said Walmart already. I went to TJ Maxx. I didn't buy anything at um, Burlington, but I found some things at JCPenney's. I also found some things, one thing at Aldi which I'm going to show you. So this, of course, is going to be broken down into two to three hauls because I don't want to make these videos like 30 to 40 minutes long. I could, but also this helps to kind of give you a few more little videos throughout the week as well. So let's jump in or jump right in. And of course, before we do that, just go ahead, hit that subscribe button, click the bell button and give me a big thumbs up if you guys like this sort of content. That just allows YouTube to know that you are enjoying and watching this sort of content. So what I think I'm going to do for this haul, I'm going to show you Aldi because I just found one thing at Aldi. I'm going to show you just a few things that I found from the Christmas tree shop and I'll do um, the Dollar Tree and just a couple of things that I found from TJ Maxx. So we still have Hobby Lobby, we have Walmart, and we have more Dollar Tree, of course. I always go crazy at the Dollar Tree. So let's start with TJ Maxx. Guys, you guys know I am obsessed with the Ray Dunn and I love it, love it, love it. I saw one of my YouTube um, uh, friends and she is called The Queen. So she does a lot of shop with me. So she does Burlington, she does TJ Maxx, she does Dollar Tree, she does everything. So she did her TJ Maxx and I was like, oh, I am on the hunt for that one. Did not find it that time, but I did find this one who, which is just as cute, but I'm still gonna look for the other one for Halloween. But look at this pumpkin season coffee mug. So I'm almost there guys. I'm getting there for every season. I've got one for the spring with the lemons on it. I've got the one with the XOXO on it. Now I've got one for fall. So this one in the US is pretty comparable because in Canada, they're, I bought my other two for $19.99. This one is $14.99. But oh my gosh, guys, I'm just adding it to my collection. Like honestly, if I can get a mug like this for every season, the one that I saw said Hocus Pocus on it. So again, I'm going to keep my eye open for that one. 
maybe it'll come to Canada. Who knows? I'll just keep my eye open for Canada as well. But yes, how cute is that? <laughs> I also thought this was stinking cute. The Sand and Fog, which you know in Canada, you can always get them at Winners, Home Sense, um, and Marshalls as well. Marshalls is both Canada and the US, but look at this one. So this one is Autumn Harvest. Super, super cute candle. Three wick candle. No, oh, sorry, I lied. <laughs> Two wick candle. It smells like, honestly, right away, it's just cinnamon, but that to me is like fall and Christmas. You can even have that for Christmas as well. Even though it says autumn harvest, you can turn it around and use it as the other way. But the reason I fell in love with it even more so was the lid. Meet me at the pumpkin patch. And guys, way better than, yes, it's only two week. It's not three week like the Bath and Body Works, but for the price, it's way better. It is only a $7.99. So how stinking cute is that? Once that candle's done, this lid is pretty universal. I would imagine it is going to fit on quite a few different uh, canisters. So yes, I got those. Oh my gosh, guys. Oh my gosh. This one, that was it for the TJ Maxx. One, one cute thing that I found at Aldi. There are so many cute things at Aldi that I was looking for but couldn't find. I personally like, I know some of the girls have shown in their shop with me is like these glass jars with the bamboo lids or they have those big like flour uh, canisters, flour, sugar, whatnot. Couldn't find any of those. That's fine. I'm okay with that. Whatever. I'll move on. <laughs> I'll get over it. <laughs> but I did find these. These are super cute for DIYs. Also just to display in your kitchen as well. It is by the Crofton. Um, that is, I think, their brand, all these brand. The four pack mini cutting boards. Oh my gosh, guys, look at that. They are wood um, and two different sizes. You get four. Now this was in the clearance items. So I do have my receipts. I have all my receipts here. Of course you have to keep all your receipts when you pass the border. I personally, when I cross the border, I like to have them in hand just so they know that I've total everything up. And you know, I don't lie when I go across the border. Like I want to be honest. If I have to pay duty, fine with me. I found so many great things. I don't mind paying 30 to $50 extra in uh, duty if that ever happens which it did not this time as well guys yes thank you <laughs> this was on sale for four um four forty nine regular six forty nine so I got it for two dollars off so about a dollar each or less than a dollar twenty five each that you would get at the Dollar Tree you only get one of these at the Dollar Tree so I got four for four forty nine thank you so yeah that was Aldi very quick at Aldi, but I'm happy I found stuff there. What I'm going to do now, I'm going to show you what I found at the Christmas tree shop. Um, usually I'm very lucky with the Christmas tree shop. However, this time around, you know, being the beginning to almost mid-August, I was quite amazed that there weren't a lot of season, end of season sales yet for the summer decor. Like even the nautical stuff was all still full price. There was not even one single discount, like not even 25% off, nothing. So I didn't really go crazy at these stores. I only went crazy on the sale items mainly. Um, so anyway, this was in the clearance items, but I'll still take it. The table scatter for only 79 cents or 78 cents. These cute little, little pineapples. You can see them in there. They're kind of like upside down, but yeah, you can see them like that. Um, so what I was planning on doing, you can actually paint them. You can paint them white, uh, paint the top green and leave them on your tear tray. So I just figured those would be really cute. Um, if I don't use them all, I can always give them to another crafter friend of mine. Got that. And these were super cute. <laughs> Again, I got I was suckered into this for full price, but they were adorable. So for a dollar ninety nine, these fun sandwich bags. So they had different um, different ones. They had a nautical one. They had um, a shark one as well. But this is what it looks like inside. How stinking cute is that? So yeah, fifty for a dollar ninety nine. <laughs> and what I actually loved too. 
you know Dollar Tree came out with their own candlesticks and they're very farmhouse as well but you know I, I love them and I can use them for a lot of things tear trays whatnot but I found two matching ones that are absolutely gorgeous wooden ones as well the ones from the Dollar Tree are more like a ceramic or even like a terracotta but this is wood and guys for $5.99 each check out those beauties like how gorgeous are those just to put like on the mantle anyway I love those I am super excited I found them they actually had some really tall ones for $12.99 as well way cheaper than what you would get in uh winners or home sense here like I've seen these kind of things the bigger ones go for like $30 so for $6 for one yeah I'm gonna get them and even with the exchange rate they were still good in my opinion these are awesome so yeah they had the like little black the chalk paint um top to that but yeah they have a little felt um protectors as well yes how gorgeous are those <laughs> And okay, so let's move on just to the Dollar Tree. Um, I do have like, oh my gosh, it's like this is full of Dollar Tree stuff. <laughs> but I'm not going to go into the whole big bag of that because there are um, uh, like a lot of fall items, which I probably going to do a separate or the next time I do a haul, I'll do like all the fall stuff that I found. Um, but yes, let's go into the Dollar Tree. I do have some food items and I'm just going to show you a couple other little things just to lighten the load a little bit. So I've not, I've never been, or I've never used any of this before, but I know like everybody in the U.S. uses them and I thought I'll give it a try. The charcoal and citrus Ajax. So you do get, it's a dishwasher or, um, dishwashing liquid. You do get 100% more um charcoal and citrus it smells wonderful um so yes this will be great to use on my dishes dollar 25 and then guys i found this so this to me reminds me of that brand method so this is the mr awesome and i have used this stuff already i've used that vinegar uh window or mirror cleaner and it works great no streaks so I figured I'd get this or different, um, I was going to say flavors. There's different scents of these, but this is like the multi-purpose, um, cleaner. It does say bathroom cleaner, fresh scent, but honestly, you guys can use this for anywhere in the house. Really. I probably use this even on the countertops as well and just clean it, um, just to sanitize. Excuse me. I don't think it's, it's not like antibacterial, but again, this literally reminds me of the method brand. Like it looks exactly the same. So I picked up that for $1.25 and I picked up again. So this is Bolero, the hand wash. So peony and pear hand wash. I love Bolero. You guys know I love me some Bolero. Whenever I go to the U.S., it's definitely a novelty for me. But this just smells so good. You can definitely smell the pear, like it smells very fresh and I cannot wait to give that a try. I love this too, because it comes with one of those protectors. So you just literally, all you have to do is just pop that off and you can push down the pump. So I'm not gonna do that right now because I'm not sure if I'm gonna give this as a gift or not, but, uh, or I can just use it as a refill. But I think the packaging already is just so pretty. <laughs> so got that. And all right, so. Do I have any other food items? Oh, I picked this up. This is just for Jackson. I saw um, Money Saving Megan. Have you guys heard of her as well? She pointed this out. So it is the Pure Purina Beyond, um, the mixers. So it is the digestive support pumpkin. So I only picked up one because it does expire in September, but for $1.25, you can get at least like two or three. Uh, what I'll probably do is just take like a spoonful and put it in his dry food. But yes, like right now it's August. He is suffering from allergies. They are coming out. So I've been kind of popping him with some um, just like a chewable children's Benadryl daily. I've only given it to him for the last three days in a row. I'm going to eventually stop. I'm not going to go more than a week, obviously, but um, anyway, I just thought this would help too because I know the digestive is also um, related to like the itchiness as well. So 
Anyway, I'll give that a try. Any of my US friends, have you guys tried this brand with your puppies? What are your thoughts? And another thing for Jackson, I just saw this again by Purina. So it's all name brand stuff. So I'm hoping it's good. Um, this is Moist and Meaty, a burger. You get two pouches that you can actually add. It is with cheddar or with cheddar cheese flavor. Um, so I would imagine you just put those on, uh, well, probably just eat them just like that. But if it's just moist and meaty, I'd probably just sprinkle this on my dry food or his dry food. Um, but yes. Anyway, I'll give that a try. I'm not going to go crazy with food from the Dollar Tree for Jackson just in case of his digestive system. But um, that is it for Jackson anyway. Um, I picked up this Mexicali red enchilada sauce. It is mild. So my stepmom, my dad's wife, she says, she was asking me, like, she's like, if you find them, would you be able to do me a favor and get me some enchilada sauce? Like, I love enchiladas, but I never make them from scratch, but she does. And apparently you can't get this in Canada, which I didn't know. This is all, this is all new to me. I know enchiladas, no problem. Go to the restaurant, order them. Easy peasy, right? But she's like, can you find me some cans? So anyway, I picked up one of these at the Dollar Tree for $1.25. Um, so I, there was only one left on the shelf. She's like, if you can get me like five or six, go for it. But I literally only saw one. I will kind of sh tell you right now, I haven't shown them to you, but when I do my Walmart haul, I actually was able to buy three more from Walmart, but they were like $2. So if you can find these at the Dollar Tree, might as well for $1.25, it's cheaper than the Dollar or the uh, Walmart. <laughs> so yes, picked up one of those. And okay, and then let's just move on to some food. So I, that way I can actually put some things away. I'm gonna put this bag down for now because I can see already that a lot of it is the fall items still to go. So as far as food, I just picked up some more of these Lance uh, Captain wafers. I just love these cheese and chive, just little crackers. How many do you get in there? You get six packs, so six packs of four. So I just love these for my lunches, $1.25. Um, oh, this is not really food items, but I just picked up these Scrub Buddies, the printed scrub sponges, two for $1.25. I love them. I'm all about prints as well. Actually, you know what? I did. I do think I bought another one. I, I bought two because now that I'm looking at this print, I bought another one with more like a floral print on it as well. So these are great for $1.25. You can't find anything like this, even at the Dollarama here in Canada. Nothing fun like this for $1.25. So anyway, picked up these. <laughs> And guys, you know I love that when I discover these last time, the first time I went to the U.S. after the border was reopened. Oh my gosh, guys, you already know I love my oven baked fudge mint cookies. I bought two more of the peanut butter ones. Oh my gosh, these are heavenly. <laughs> but yes, two packages, a dollar twenty five each. I picked up, guys, at name brand, a Pillsbury lemon um, icing for $1.25. Oh my gosh, guys, you guys know that I made that lemon cake. Well, they had a lemon cake at the Dollar Rama, but I've made this lemon cake in the past where you just take a regular Betty Crocker or Duncan Hines uh, lemon cake mix. You take your two packages of lemon jello. You don't put um, as much milk in the jello because you want to make it more like a custard type filling. You put that on top and you add Cool Whip on top. So imagine putting this instead of jello, just using this as the jello. Oh gosh. Anyway, $1.25, guys, and the expired date. What? Well, I don't even know what the expired date. I didn't even look. Um. July, oh, June of 2023. So I am golden. This is amazing. <laughs> and I picked up these for Craig. I was actually trying, I was on the hunt for their freezies. I was on the hunt. I saw the queen find these Powerade freezies, but I couldn't find them. But I bought these for Craig, the Tropical Cool Pops. You can actually get 20 in these. You only got 10 in the Powerade but I got them these ones. So there's different um, flavors. You get the tropical punch, you get the citrus punch, you get the pineapple, wild berry, berry punch, mango, and a summer punch. So lots to choose from in there and hopefully he likes those. <laughs> what I liked about the power, what I thought about the Powerade 
was that it had electrolytes in it as well so I thought it would be great for him to come home after a really hot day of working outside doing landscaping so but couldn't find them I'll get them the next time hopefully but you guys know I love this extremely easy brand from the Dollar Tree, the garlic cheese ball mix. These are always 50 cents. Every time I've seen them so far, they're always 50 cents. And the expiry date is amazing. Like this one, I think is good till, yeah, oh my gosh, it's December. Oh, only, okay, so it's still good. I thought it was 2023, but it's December 2022. So perfect, perfect lifespan. And they're really good. I think they are amazing. Um, I got these. I saw some people haul these and I was like, I gotta try these. They, I know they have like three or four flavors, but I only found one this time. So I bought the Muffin King. You get eight individually wrapped honey or cornbread muffins. This flavor was honey. You can actually get some um, uh, jalapeno ones. I think they just had the regular cornbread. I think they have like blueberry muffins as well. But anyway, I bought two packages. Um, but uh we've already opened one and i'm just kind of showing you so this one is unopened but i'm just showing you so they're like the size of like two bite brownies but for me i can get like three bites because i always like to um go a little bit smaller so that way i feel like i got more for my bite you know what i mean um but it actually does say like actual size on there yeah i would imagine that looks like just about right <laughs> yeah that looks just about right <laughs> but anyway if you guys can get your hands on these, they're actually really, really tasty and they're super moist. Like these are perfect. So go get them weather hats. I'll leave that on the top. And okay, last but not least for today, I got to end it right here. Um, I found, again, there were so many other boxes, but I only found these ones in particular, but I, I'm always on the hunt whenever I watch my my YouTube friends, like the queen, Money Saving Megan, they always do their shopping things. I'm like, ooh, got to get that, got that, that and that. But anyway, I found them, the Chocolate Strawberry Cheerios Limited Edition. I did buy two boxes for $1.25 each. Like when you convert it to Canadian, you're still only paying, it's like $1.65 for a box of cereal. This is always so cheap. The expiry date is, um, okay, so it's October 28th. 2022 but whatever i'll have a bowl of cereal every day until it's done so yeah i got those i'm so excited that i found them like oh my gosh this is amazing i'm anxious to try them have you guys tried these yet let me know um all right so that is it um that is part one again i'm gonna see how well i get through this for the next two videos at least two to like one to two more videos of this huge haul I'm like, I'm just like looking at all my bags and I'm just like, oh my gosh, like I went crazy, but I wanted to kind of put a lot of the food away. Um, I do still have some food. Like I bought some food at Walmart, but like non-perishable items. So I don't have to worry about them, um, going bad anytime soon. So I will do another haul coming up. Um, please stay tuned, hit that subscribe button, click that, uh, that bell button and click all. So that way you won't be missing out on the next time I post another video. So all right, that's it for today, part one. I'll have part two for you very, very soon. Okay, bye.